Good morning, stamping peeps. It is Wednesday, and so that means it's time for Facebook Live again. And I've got a couple of different odds and ends um, here for you this morning. I've got some housekeeping. I've got some cute cards to do for you. So um, hopefully when you pop in, you can say hello and um, let me know what you're stamping this weekend. I'm not sure that I'm going to be having much stamping time. Hey, good morning, Ruby. Um, I have to be um, doing my taxes this weekend, so I kind of told Rob that that's what I was gonna work on. Good morning, Rebecca, good to see you too. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm hoping to work on this weekend. We might go see the High School Musical, so um, here in town, so I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that my stamping is gonna have to be done this week, so. I've got a couple of different housekeeping things to share with you. Um, like I said, um, hey, good morning, Marla. Um, good to see you too. So I've got a couple of housekeeping. I've got some cards that we did at um, our scrap, our Galentine's weekend, which is like the most fun of all year. I wished every weekend could be a Galentine's weekend. So um, yeah, I'm still recovering. I've pretty much unpacked everything. Um, but yeah, let's, let's flip you around and we will get you started with some fun stuff. So let's get this show on the road. Okay. Let's make sure that this is, there we go. All right, can y'all see that? All righty, let's see if this works better. Nope, I'll just leave that on. Okay, so kids, let's get this going. And I've got a couple of fun things to share with you today. Um, first off, we have up, let's see if I can, does that look better guys? Oh, it's crooked, I hate that. One of these years, I'll get this figured out. I'll probably be old and decrepit. So yeah, Ruby, I would love to do, we'll have one up there. Yeah, we, let's do that, not a problem. I'm sure my husband doesn't mind at all. So I've got a couple of things to share with you. First off, first and foremost, is um, don't forget that the coordinations um, product release went live February 4th. And what that is, is there are six different products that are available just through the end um, while supplies last. last. It started February 4th. Um, let me show you some things. Last week I showed you this one, the dies that um, coordinate with that special someone to die cut those cute little um, images. Good morning, Deb, good to see you too. So also we have, um, we have, this is a card that we will be doing in class at the end of the month, my coffee cards and chaos. This is a die that cuts this, um, this background, um, makes it look cute, like cute little flowers. Um, so I decided to do kind of like a sunset um, look there. So that's fun. Um, this is a die that cuts the cake out. Um, so that one is always fun as well. Um, we also have a stamp that cuts this little ladybug out. So if you are a hostess during the month of, during celebration, um, this is a pro the little ladybug set is a product that will come free in your order with a qualifying order um, show, and these dies can be purchased. Let me show you another card that we did um, that's done using two of them. This is a die that cuts out the ladybugs, and this is this die that I demonstrated right here. So... So stinking cute. Um, we also have one that coordinates with, I think I left it over there. Ah, we'll, I'll show you, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, ah, we'll, we'll do that later. Never mind, my bad. Um, let's see here. There is also paper that is available. And what it is, is it coordinates with several, several of our punches. There's the um, tulips, there's the umbrellas, there's flowers. So those are kind of fun. This is a card done with punching out the little umbrellas. Hey, good morning, Tammy. Good to see you too. And uh, Rebecca, that black gingham is the Buffalo check background um, stamp to make, I made that. Now here is some more. This is done with the tulips um, from that paper as well as the gingham from that paper too. And don't forget if you place a an order of $40 or more during January, I will send, or during February, I will send you a PDF using this plus three other um, cute ones done with that tulip set. So just really sweet and simple and springy, so. Okay, so that is the coordinations. That, like I said, um, 
released February 4th. It's while supplies last, so don't delay. You don't wanna, um, you don't wanna lose out on this one. So again, this card is February, um, for my coffee cards in chaos on February 24th, it's a Monday. Um, it's always fun and it's always, a, it's always a blast. So hence the chaos. So, hey, good morning, Kathy. Good to see you too. So last night I had, um, speaking of Kathy, last night we had, um, our group meeting and we do a shoebox swap. And what we do as demonstrators, um, if you are a part of my group, um, you get to um, participate in shoebox swaps. And that's always fun because what you do is you come and um, it's basically a stamp camp um, done with a bunch of demonstrators. So here are some of the cards from the um, the shoebox swap last night. The little gingham one, but again, um, Rebecca, this is done with that buffalo check, the background. It is really cute. Um, this was from Marilyn, and she had showed me um, a card that she had done with um, the, oh, the gingham, the background, um, you know, this this pack, this gingham um, done there. It looks adorable, but in black and white, so the neutrals pack, so that's really cute. Um, this was a card that Kathy brought. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm love it so rich and so elegant um, this is done with excuse me with the poppy love that too this one is a lovely one with renee renee uh let's see this way so i, I like this one. i'm gonna i'm gonna work with this one and um replicate that to some degree this is with that poppy set oh i love 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 it um so that's really pretty too <clears throat> this is with the um the thoughtful blooms um thoughtful blooms um uh, celebration card and our set and I'm going to be demonstrating that today and this I think is one of those sleeper sets in the in this celebration catalog um, not a lot of my customers have purchased or not purchased earned this one or chosen that as their option and you know what I love it I can't wait to show you some things done with that one so whoops go in there. this one is Donna's this is gorgeous too I love this little fun fold she's always got some cute fun folds and this is using the lily paper all right, this is done with the um, the celebrate or um, the paper pumpkin from January, and that one was Rosalie's. I thought that was real real fun too. So cute little um, Valentines. Now, oh shoot, I think I for I was going to show you the other Valentines that I got yesterday from Deb. Um, I thought I had it here. But speaking of paper, it was so cute. Uh, maybe I'll I'll put it up, take a picture, and put it up in the direct in the comments here. But um, don't forget paper pumpkin. My February paper pumpkin is um, coordinates with the birthday card set or the birthday celebration set, and I will have extras of those in the studio. Um, from what I understand, they coordinate with this set. So I will have more of those in the studio. If anybody needs to just get a, a one-off um, paper pumpkin, let me know and I will save one for you. Now, speaking of paper pumpkin, in March, um, from what I understand, it is... Uh, 12 cards done with kind of a spring thing themes think daffodils and um spring and because we're celebrating seven years um there's two stamp sets in there so you get a free stamp set with the march so that would be a great time to order um the paper pumpkin for march and you need to sign up by march 10th to get that one so that's paper pumpkin this one is fun too isn't that adorable this is from danette and um she used the paper from the um, coordinations i just thought this was so cute i love this card so fun this one is from jamie this was kind of fun too I, I, it's a calendar i thought it was it was brilliant so this is just a little desk calendar how simple is that and um she's got these she's them from what i understand she had sold them at a fundraiser for um the Humane Society of Dane County and um, had used some with little little dogs. It was really cute. So this was mine. Um, I don't know. This one didn't. I don't know. I don't know where my original was, but um, this was done with the. Um, this is a little sneak peek here um, of some paper that will be coming out in March as a celebration offering. And then I also paired it with the Nature's Thought Set, which is is fun. Um, sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes because who doesn't you know who couldn't who who wouldn't want that come to your mail. So this is the the stamp set and die that coordinate with that. So awesome. So that was our group meeting last night. And again, now is a perfect time to sign up to be a demonstrator, um, whether or not you work it for real um, as a real business or just use it to um, get your 
supplies at a discount. Hey, it's all fun and games and we have a great time. So, hey, good morning, Joan. Good to see you too. So now on to, oh, I have a couple other fun things. Um, this was a little product or a little, pro, um, little table favor that Jamie handed out uh, last night. I just thought these were really super cute. So Valentine's Day is on Friday. So let me just show you a real quick way to use some of the product that you currently have and um, uh, make this with some stuff that you've got. So um, what I did is I cut my cardstock. This is four and a quarter by uh, two and three quarters. So that way you can get eight of these little pieces out of a single sheet of cardstock. And then this one is four by two and a half. And again, you can get 12 out of, out of a single sheet of designer series paper. So let's just go ahead and I don't know, these should be super simple and even the kids could do it. So I'm just lining that up right in the middle of my, my heart punch and I'm going to punch and I can go either this route or, hey, good morning, Amanda. This could be something your girls could do. Super simple for Valentine's. So let, I like the stripes because those are kind of fun. So how cute is that? And then let's just use this. Roses are red, violets are blue. Ah, can't get it off the sheet here. Super sticky. Things are falling and breaking here. It's a good day in the neighborhood. We're gonna use the real red. And I know I had a piece of paper right here. I've got a mess, it's already starting kids. Roses are red, violets are blue. See, even the dogs think it's, a, it's chaos. All right, and we're gonna attach that to our little piece right here. I mean, how stinking cute is that? It's super simple. And let's, we're gonna map, pop that up with dimensionals if I can find them. Fun, fun, fun. Did I show you this trick? Um, using your take your pick tool or um, poker, just stab your dimensional and pick the back off. No sitting around trying to get that backing off because all you gotta do is stab it with your tool. Okay, there you go. How cute is that? I could add a little bow using a glue dot. And again, I have scads of these from the paper pumpkin that need to be used up. Take your pick tool takes the backing of that off as well. So there's our sweet little card and on the back we can stamp the saying that says um being friends is uh let's see no um so lucky to have a friend like you i mean how cute is that you can sign it add the chocolate so let's see here these are the little dove chocolates i'm going to steal this off of jamie's the little dove chocolates stick that right on there and you've got a really cute and simple little Valentine's. I mean, come on, how stinking cute is that? Love it. So again, they only take what? What was that? Five minutes, not even. So you could crank a bunch of those out. And again, um, out of a single sheet of cardstock, you'll get, um, you'd get eight backings and off a single sheet of um, designer paper, you can get 12 of these layers. So, all right. Let's move on to the actual project and the car that is going, that's going to come in the mail to some lucky winner. Um, uh, I handed out the tickets. I had two tickets for the Scrapbook Expo um, last week and the recipient is unable to attend. So I sent her the card and I kept the tickets. So if anybody comments or um, likes or shares this post, um, or this video t this week, um, I have two tickets that I'm going to include in the winner's card. So again, you might wanna check that out. So this is the card that we're going to stamp up this morning. And again, I'm using the, um, uh, bring this, <laughs> you're right, Amanda, I'll get right on that, I'll bring it all. We'll, we'll, we'll do them for the, for the shift. <laughs> 
like, yeah, we'll get right on it. So, and you can take them home and hand them out at class. Okay, so um, this is the card that we're gonna be doing today. How stinking cute is that? It's using that Thoughtful Blooms. This is free with a $50 order as your celebration option. And then it has a coordinating punch that works real well. And this is free with a $100 order. So these are quite fun. And don't forget, it matches um, one of the sheets of paper here in this pack. I don't have it out, but otherwise I would show it to you. So really cute. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how stinking cute and quick and easy this card is. All right, I have used the brick and mortar um, embossing folder and I am using Grapefruit Grove. This is a color that will be retiring here at the end of May, so now is a good time to stock up on your refills and your cardstock if you have that stamp pad, or if you don't have the pad, it's a good time to get it. So um, it's, it's a fun color. This is Grapefruit Grove. I've paired it with Petal Pink. Um, yes, I don't know that it necessarily Petal Pink, I think, is a misnomer. I think it should be like Awesome Apricot or something because I don't know that it's really that pink. I think it's more orange, but that's just me. They didn't call me before they named it. I think they did that one all on their own. Or maybe Petal Peach, I mean, but Petal Pink, not so much. So, but we can agree to disagree. All right, so I just used a little snippet of designer paper. That's from that um, the bird set, um, the bird designer paper. This uh, die is from the Stitch So Sweetly, and that is one of the really cute um, uh, products in the spring catalog here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use Granny Apple Green because that's quite fun. And we're gonna stick this one right here. We're gonna add the little doohickey swirl right here across the bottom. All right, stinking cute. All right, so now we have the Grapefruit Grove. I'm gonna add that. Just, it does line up. Okay, there we go. Now we are going to stamp two of the little flowers with the petal pink ink. Oh. One, two. And then we're going to use the Grapefruit Grove over the top. You know what, actually, let me do that backwards. Um, I think it's easier to stamp the outline first because then it's so much easier to stamp the petal pink using the outlines as a guide. Does that make sense? I think so. All right. I love these colors together. They're so spring. Ooh, that one's jumping. Um, I think they're so fun. So springy, so festive. <clears throat> so we're going to use the this one we're going to glue directly on right here. This one I'm going to add with the dimensional. And stick that one. This one's kind of a big dimensional. I should have cut that off. <clears throat> See how easy that is to get that backing off? You're never going to go back to the other direct, the other way. Oh, good gravy. Some days I'm stealing this off here a second. I forgot this, this leaf. Okay. Now we'll add that back on. So stinking cute. Now, let me see if I have my adhesive... So again, I have a little schmutz here. Can you see that? It looks kind of red. I can just use my little sand eraser. And look at that, it takes it right off. This is the Tombow Sand Eraser. If you don't have one of these, get one because they are amazing. And I have a little strip of green here because I like the little pop of color. Add that right to the bottom. I mean, how cute is that? Totally adorable. This one I'm gonna add, pop off with dimensionals as well. Did 
take your pick tool. I know, right? Everybody needs a take your pick tool. That one didn't come off either. There we go. It is super easy to do for the most part. Okay. How cute. So stinking cute. So stinking. Okay. Now I also have, this is, remember I we talked about this is my, my sleeper set in the Jan to June catalog. Again, when you look at it at the first go round, it's like, mm, do I really need that one? Probably not. But I'm telling you, I've used them in so many different applications. Um, I'm going to stamp the for you on a scrap of white. And then just use my scissors to snip that out. Awesome, right? I'm telling you, this is a really fun little stamp set because when you use it, when you use it, I'm um, stamp it with black ink. Um, I got to get new bifocals. It's really. <laughs> skewing the the my view here um, when you stamp it with black ink um and cut it out it looks like you've embossed white on black paper so it's really super easy and fun so um i am going to add pearls this time on this one i used the gold sequins i'm not sure where i put them so we're just going to add pearls because we can do that too gotta use my take your pick tool look at that easy to pick them up and place them right where they need to be. Add a little schnibble of ribbon here and knot it out and it is a card that's super simple and kind of fun. So, and then this is what the inside looks. I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. So there you go, so cute. So um, make sure that you either like my post or um, share this video. Um, do what you, you do what you can do to um, spread the the news and I will draw this week to get someone will receive this card plus two tickets to the scrapbook Expo um, which is coming up in May, may I believe oh don't quote me on this it's the fr first Friday and Saturday in May and I want to say it's the second and third but I'm not 100% positive about that so and speaking of upcoming things. Um, don't forget at the end of the month, I have my bingo class. Um, what it is, is we play bingo, play six um, rounds of bingos. We have a hundred dollars, several hundreds dollars of product that we give away. Um, six different, uh, obviously six different prizes, gift certificate, you name it. Um, we make three different make and takes. I'm going to show you two of them right now. This is the first one, one of the cards that we will be making at the bingo. It's using that fun tulip and some product that's coming out in um, Mar March. And then this really cute little one, this is done with that, um, the paper, uh, let me think of it. I can't think of the name right now. My, my, my thoughts just left. So obviously that's a sign that it's, you know, my, um, my Facebook live should be over. <laughs> So again, um, go to my website and sign up for the bingo because it is loads of fun. I'm telling you, it is, it is awesome. So um, again, I can't wait to stamp with you and chat with you soon. Thanks. Bye.